Hey, this is Line 6 Will, and I'm going to tell you about snapshots on the Helix 2.0 firmware upgrade. There's always going to be a small audible gap when switching presets in any effects unit. That's just how advanced DSP works. However, snapshots allow for a surprising amount of tonal control from within the same preset, and every change happens instantly and seamlessly with no audible gap. With Helix Firmware 2.0 or higher, you can see a camera icon in the upper right corner of the screen. This number indicates the current snapshot. A total of eight snapshots are available per preset. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a snapshot within a preset. Let's start with what a snapshot is. A snapshot stores and recalls the state of certain elements in the current preset, including block bypass, parameter control, command center, and tempo. Snapshot one, the intro as I have it labeled, could have distortion one, amp one, cab, and mod one on. If we go to snapshot two for the verse, it could have dynamics, distortion two, filter, effects loop one, cab, delay, and reverb on. Switching over to snapshot three for the bridge could have dynamics, effects loop two, impulse response, EQ, and delay on. And finally, snapshot four for the chorus could have everything on. Well now, here's a man who wants to get right down to it. Kinda anxious to get to it, are you? Here's a big complex patch I made earlier. It's got two amp models, some fuzz and distortion, and some time-based effects. You can see that signal path A continues in signal path B for one long signal chain. This is everything I'm going to use for this one song. It'll probably sound terrible if everything is on at once, but that's okay. Remember, you're not switching presets to make new tones. So every effect and model that you would want to use in one song would be all in one signal chain. You will have to get creative sometimes when it comes to space and DSP allocation. Now, let's bypass all the blocks we're not going to use for the verse of our song and we'll make this snapshot one. At this point, we'll name the snapshot. It's helpful to rename your snapshot something descriptive, such as clean, chorus, or this is the girl. I've named the first one main clean previously. To rename it, press presets to open the set list menu then press knob 6, which is rename snapshot. Once that's done, we can switch over to snapshot 2 for the lead in the song. Change around the patch to accommodate the sound for the chorus. The change here is an added EQ boost at the end. Now for the third snapshot, we'll set up our chain for a fuzzy lead sound. So we'll add in the fuzz and distortion and switch amp models. Once that's done, save the patch. Now when we switch between the snapshots, we can see the original chain switch between the effects needed for each part of the song and there will be no audible gap, but still keep trails. Another trick with this is we can also change Variax models between snapshots. I changed the input to Variax, so we can change the models to change per snapshot. To do this, go to the global Variax model parameter. Then, press and hold the encoder knob. You'll see the white brackets show up, which means it's changing per snapshot. Change it to the desired model. Then, Switch snapshots and repeat the same process. You'll see the white brackets already there on that parameter, so you just need to change the model. Now between the three snapshots, we're also using three different guitar models. I strongly recommend checking out page 32 of the Helix 2.0 manual and reading more details about snapshot usage. More things can be done between snapshot changes like parameter control. There's also tips on copying and pasting snapshots as well as swapping locations. Thanks, have fun!